Like goal for this what if is uh, 100 likes and uh, when we hit that I'll upload part 2 to it. Recording app, oh there we go, my recording app just uh, fucked up, but anyway, welcome back guys, this is the King of Weebs here and this is what if Naruto had the 8 gates, part 1. Now this is what if I've been wanting to do for 2 years. I'll be honest, but in the past two years, uh, I haven't really been very active. No, well, maybe last year, uh, during December, January, February, but obviously GCC and then year 10 was just uh, off and on, I'll be honest. And uh, yeah, it's just been quite long and uh, yeah, we'll get straight into it. Obviously, you know, I've been using the bot voice for a while now, but that's mostly because uh, I've been trying to save as much time as possible and still providing but obviously there's a lot of people who just don't like it so you know obviously I need to make some free time somehow and uh, that's by me revising early in the morning 7 a.m. revision uh, it's not it it's not it but anyways we begin this what if straight away what if Naruto had the or well, learned the eight gates we begin with Naruto actually being uh, admitted into the orphanage at the age of two as uh, Naruto would uh, actually be well pretty lonely in the orphanage as uh, he wouldn't have any friends uh, no one would really talk to him no one really liked him in the very uh, well, to begin with especially because of uh, the nuns there actually hating Naruto and telling the other kids that if they ever become friends with Naruto you know they will just uh, be possessed by the demon fox and anywho obviously they don't literally say uh, the lantos fox but they just say a demon fox and uh, you know the old children they, they won't be like you're a demon fox nantos is a demon fox so like you know the demon fox is naruto obviously the two dumb clearly i mean naruto looked exactly like flipping minato still couldn't realize but anyways now we digress naruto would uh, actually make a friend in the academy as uh, obviously there are some people who do not really care about what the oldest tell them some people who live their life how they want to live it and that's the kind of life i want to live i don't want to be told of what to do i want to do what i want to do anyways that's literally what naruto is going to do and uh, <clears throat> this is actually rock lee i in this way if i'm going to be uh, saying that rock lee's parents were actually killed in the Nantos attack and Rock Lee would be one of those kids who did not care about what the oldest said clearly we've seen in the original he you know he was uh, <clears throat> the one who beat all the odds not being able to use chakra at all and still becoming a splendid shinobi obviously now the two become really good friends and they would spend the next two years together as uh, Naruto eventually uh, well would be moved out due to all the complaints that the nuns and the sisters or whatever the people in the orphanage the adults were giving to the hokage about naruto although naruto didn't do anything they were all fake complaints as they just don't want to deal with naruto anyways now rock lee and naruto however would have would have been best of friends they would have had such a strong bond to each other like a brotherly bond as they would always meet up every single day and rock lee always wanting wanting to become a shinobi obviously he doesn't know that he can't use chakra until the age of eight but thanks to naruto's influence he's actually quite smart and begins to train earlier four years earlier than you know the academy he would actually tell lee to join him and lee being lee always having that mentality of becoming wanting to be the strongest and wanting to be you know just as good as others and even better obviously he would join in with naruto and he would realize he can't use 
uh, chakra and also ironically naruto can barely use chakra as uh, obviously at the age of four being able to use chakra is already one thing naruto being able to use a shot that he's a prodigy but at the same time because of the nine tools chakra and the nine tools and naruto's chakra not going well together it would actually make it harder for naruto to actually master his chakra control or master chakra control and even use any chakra Basically, Naruto is uh, in the same position as Lee, one who cannot use chakra properly. And uh, although Naruto can, Lee just can't as a whole. But you know, Naruto is just really bad at it. Thus, Lee says, you know, there are other types of uh, well ninjas. Well, there are other types of uh, ninjas like Taiji, to specialists. And obviously, Naruto would uh, say that's a great idea. Maybe we should do that for now, and uh, eventually, you know learn how to use chakra as uh, the two would still not understand that lee can just not use chakra as a whole they thought that maybe lee can use it in the future but obviously that's not the tr that's not what's gonna happen anyways now naruto and lee would uh, begin oh sorry i got a discord call i had to tell them to fuck off anyways now naruto would uh, actually naruto and lee would be running around just training their physical strength every single day and eventually lee would actually just stop going well stop going to the well, orphanage as naruto would tell him to just live with him as uh, they're basically brothers at this point naruto and lee have such a strong bond that you know they spend every single minute of their day together as uh, the two are just best of friends they're literally brothers at this point and uh, they trust each other because uh, they really had no one they literally had no one but themselves to trust in to spend time with to just you know have someone near them it's just the two as lee as just was naruto because of him being friends with naruto for the past two three years yes it's been a year by now um, he would be an outcast in the orphanage as well and uh, a lot of the kids would s stop talking to him because they thought that you know lee was pro most likely possessed by now but obviously that's not the f that's not <laughs> the fact and uh, the truth is that lee is <laughs> pretty much becoming stronger and stronger by the day anyways now obviously naruto would uh, and then you know naruto and lee eventually one day while they were training hard uh, they would actually stumble upon someone someone who's seen them running around and someone who's kept their eye on uh, them for the past year and a half as it's been that long naruto and lee's tajutsu was uh, quite they're quite shit literally they would be able to fight they're quite strong they're physically strong but their taiju technique and skill is quite bad as realistically they don't have a teacher they can't really be the best at taiju just by themselves and they're still five and a half so they would not well lee's actually a bit older so lee's a six and a half whereas naruto's five and a half they would still not be able to well uh access any scrolls to teach them because they're not in the academy yet as a uh, starting level due to scrolls taiju to scrolls genju to scrolls are all well accessible from academy student onwards and the two one academy students yet lee and naruto would be surprised that you know someone approached them as uh, a lot of basically the whole village stays away from them and my guy yes my guy the best teacher ever to have for taiju to uh shows up obviously naruto and lee who were exhausted at that point and pretty much ended their training session for the day asked who he is and obviously my guy would say the eternal fire of youth is resonating from you guys i need to train you i need to show you the path obviously uh, that was quite bad of a that was a that was a really bad uh, impression of my guy uh, i'm disappointed in myself uh, but whatever obviously my guy would uh, tell them that you know these youths the young <coughs> young people the the fire in them is uh, resonating off of them and uh, he wants to see it well not f uh, grow from a bonfire into an inferno of youth obviously <clears throat> had to think of that phrase there i stopped it for a second there but anyways now my guy would tell them that he would teach them the eight inner gates as he saw immense amount of potential in both of them as then lee would tell him that you know he's he can't use chakra at this point they've given up on chakra they've realized lee can't use it naruto says that he can use it but he's quite bad at it so 
you know, he opted for the next best option. Obviously, Matt Guy would say that, you know, it's perfect. He's a Tajutsu specialist as he would show off the third gate. Um, I actually don't know what it's called. Let me search that up. Well, he would first go from the gate of opening to the gate of healing to the gate of life, the, showing them the first three gates. However, he wouldn't go any further as he doesn't want to, you know, make them aim so so high because the fourth gate is quite hard to get to it, especially even for jonins to get up today it's very hard yeah so he want, just wants to show them the basics uh, the first three gates uh, which will be very useful even if they only learn the first three gates obviously he wishes for them to learn all eight of them and he tells them that there are another five more and uh, he explains what they all do each of them open just new realms of strength every time and eventually the eighth one puts you on a level of basically tentacles mother but obviously on a level that no one's ever seen and uh, you'll just become a powerhouse but the eighth gate comes at a cost the cost of your own life you'd be using your own life to use it obviously naruto and the uh, Lee were put off by that but at the same time there was they realized the seven other gates this is perfect for them and uh, Mike guy says that he'll never use the eighth gate unless it's uh, well unless the fate of the world is up state on stake or up stake I'm not sure how to say it, the phrase but anyways now this the day after straight away the three of the meet up after my guy has finished the uh, his uh, daily mission as he wants to do at least one daily mission he doesn't care what level it is uh, he did a quick a quick b rank uh, a quick b rank uh, uh, you know <clears throat> uh, uh, yeah <laughs> mission obviously he's done his b rank mission quick as hell because he knew he knew that you know his two students would be waiting at 5 p.m on the on the dot this is summer and you know summer has just started thus the day is long for training and the two well, the three would be training very hard and um, now we will have uh, a little bit of time skip. I won't be covering the whole three years uh, of training. Uh, I'm going to be covering until Naruto gets to the uh, academy part. Not every single day. Obviously, in the first year of training, uh, Lee and Naruto were able to show how strong they are and how much of prodigies they are. Obviously, Lee, um, thanks to Naruto's influence, would train even harder than Naruto. And in fact, he'd be much stronger than Naruto um, physically. However, Naruto having the ability to use chakra puts him on the same tier as Lee, as Naruto wouldn't only be focusing on Taijutsu at this point naruto would realize that you know he can learn ninjutsu on his own as he realized who's gonna stop him he's just going to steal scrolls and he does obviously uh the two would uh, be able to unlock the first two gates in the first year of training and my guy would not be easy on them although he wants to, uh well he wants the best way students he would be training them to failure literally every single day they would be training until their bodies are on the verge of breaking down just on the verge so the next day they come back even stronger and the two have been doing this for a year at this point and uh, lee is only a year away well a year and a half away from starting the academy Obviously, Naruto will still be two and a half years away, and once they do start the academy, Naruto and Lee's time would be cut short a bit more. Although they live together and everything, they train every day at 5 p.m. together. Obviously, they train much earlier, but 5 p.m. is uh, the usual time for my guy to arrive, and then they train till 10. Obviously, my guy would be very proud of his students, and he would even mention it to Kakashi, and Kakashi would raise an eyebrow. This would be like students. You're not a Jolene team leader, are you? guy did i miss anything while i was reading and lost in the way of life obviously the guy would say no in fact he can't even come and see his two students as he's meeting them in 10 minutes kakashi would have passed but his curiosity got the best of him and thus he goes and sees obviously not literally coming out and saying oh i'm kakashi i'm here to watch you guys train he would be hiding in the trees however someone would have noticed that as they were training naruto having a keen eye would have noticed Kakashi, although not paying too much attention to him, continuing to do his push-ups. At one point, he did throw a kunai while he was doing a one-hand push-up, and uh, Kakashi would have caught it with the uh, in between his two fingers, literally index and middle finger. He would caught it, he would have caught it, and he would actually well give a 
uh, a little bit on ice melt to Naruto as uh, obviously Kakashi would throw it back to Naruto and Naruto would catch it actually stopping his push-ups and looking at Kakashi guy would laugh saying that that you don't need to worry about him that's just or uh, well, his best friend Kakashi as Kakashi would come out come out of the you know, woodwork and be like yo obviously he would be impressed by naruto and he would know instantly who this is naruto the son of minato amikaze and guy knows this as well the guy is not stupid he's quite smart he would have noticed as well but he didn't really say anything but obviously kakashi would ask naruto how he you know saw him naruto said he sensed his presence and obviously instantly kakashi says like, sensory danger huh? you seem to be quite well strong for a sensory type ninja especially in close combat in combat as you have the eight gates or at least i hear two of the uh, two of the beginning gates obviously naruto would say well i'm on the verge of unlocking the third gate uh, and then lee says that you know he's already got the gate of life and obviously naruto is just like hey listen i'm gonna get there soon obviously naruto has actually fallen a bit behind of lee because of uh, Lee only focusing on the eight gates and Naruto focusing on both eight gates and ninjutsu as in the morning they would train together however Lee while focusing on the gates Naruto would be focusing on ninjutsu and then for 5 p.m onwards Naruto would be focusing only on the gates until 10 p.m so basically Naruto has a 10 hour training span and the first five hours are ninjutsu the next five hours are all taijutsu genjutsu he does not care he tried it he has a absolute he's absolute trash at it he's literally dog poo literally he cannot do it and thus he gave up instantly he's like nope but focus on two of them three of them is too many and one of them i can barely do literally it's even worse than chakra obviously now naruto who uh well would say uh, would tell kakashi to you you know literally f off i'm trying to train here you're you're distracting me as he would go back to his push-ups with lee and uh, continue his uh, 5000 push-ups a day nearly finished obviously he would continue training with lee and the two would be going at it at a steady pace not slowing down not increasing the pace yet because they still got 25 laps of the village to do and anyways now and kakashi would actually tell him that you know he's very interested in him and if he wants to have a train or you know spa you could always come to him he's always available as uh, he barely does missions kakashi obviously he's uh, done many missions as he's retired from the anbu he's no longer an anbu captain he still does missions here and there but for now he's actually chilling and doing only a to s rank uh, more missions whenever he's needed as the hokage realized that you know kakashi is quite lazy and he's just calling him for the most uh, important missions he's not willing to do anything lower than a uh, as uh, he's not bothered so he just leaves him alone for now but obviously kakashi is always needed in the village this is only a few years after the uh, well nanto's attack although the leaf village is still the strongest village in the five nations they're still very very wary of any attack especially from the cloud village as that has that village has the worst uh, i mean the worst relationships with konoha and uh, they're always having to have well, you know people on standby in the village just in case of you know a random attack guy leaving the village every single day to do b rank missions or a rank missions is already a hassle as uh, every day uh, is a lot first of all in case he gets hurt and they need him guy is literally at the top of the food train of uh Jones. he's uh, above anbu level literally guy and kakashi are the two above anbu level obviously there's shisui there's itachi but they're still young but those two are literally at the tip of the mountain of uh well power for now obviously the hokage comes on top of them but we move now obviously naruto and lee would continue training on for another six months and naruto would be interested or well, would have remembered actually kakashi's offer and he would tell lee about that like, he's thinking about actually asking kakashi to train him as well and lee obviously because naruto just doesn't want to leave lee behind and lee tells him naruto you shouldn't worry about me as lee has basically taken on the personality as a mighty guy literally is like you need to do what you need to do to get stronger as uh, he can't be held back by him and he needs to 
train as hard as he can and Lee wants Naruto to even surpass himself he doesn't want Naruto to be behind him as Naruto kinda is behind him right now especially in Taijutsu and the Ninjutsu thing has not been going too well for Naruto as he can't he can't really do much by himself especially in Ninjutsu wise now obviously Taijutsu he could do something about it because he's just you know physically training and you know the stronger you are the stronger your Taijutsu is right obviously technique comes in after that as well and the stronger the better technique and the stronger you are it's even better than just being strong and having no technique but obviously being strong in the first place is needed to be strong I, I, well, I, heavy hitter but anyways now Naruto would uh, you know finally be set free and he would tell him that you know from tomorrow onwards the first five hours while he's at the academy Naruto would be training with Kakashi Kakashi would be surprised that Naruto actually came to find him and he would actually kind of be very very interested in training Naruto he would ask Naruto to show what he can do and Naruto showed that, that he can do a basic clone uh, yes Naruto has been able to do a basic clone and he says that that's literally all he got up to literally the past few years he's just been trying to enhance his chakra levels and chakra well control he can walk on a he can walk on a tree but barely and uh, Kakashi says there's a long way for you to go but I think I can help you out as a uh, obviously um, Naruto and uh, well sorry I said Lee already started the academy he's Lee's actually seven and uh, Naruto is now six and uh, I'm going to say that you know Lee actually did start uh, the academy a bit earlier and he's going to actually be you know set back a, a class although he started he entered the academy earlier because of his great ninja Taijutsu abilities everything else is just right that's why they held him back a year and uh, obviously now he's with his actual class yes that's what I'm going to say anyways now Naruto and uh, Kakashi would be training as Lee was in the academy failing basically this year and anyways anyway now Naruto and Kakashi would be training for the next two two years yes yeah two years <laughs> I, I just completely blanked out there I was like it's Naruto 5 or 6 right now but anyways Kakashi would basically come to really like training with Naruto as a uh, he would keep up with his basics and Naruto was a complete and utter prodigy literally Naruto would have uh, easily mastered the uh, chop control training after a while like a few weeks and then eventually his growth just went from being very stagnant and going up just a bit every few weeks obviously or every few days and uh, obviously it took him a few weeks to get to where he is now uh, I'd say around like six weeks and now all of a sudden Naruto is just clicked and he's up there he's literally just growing exponentially faster and uh, he's very strong he's Kakashi was close to considering him to be on uh, Itachi's level of uh, growth but then again at this age Itachi was already close to an on level ninja although Naruto has the third gate and he has a uh, five chakra natures literally when he told naruto to put what well, to channel chakra through the chakra paper he split into four different pieces one of them crumbled one of them <clears throat> burnt one of them got soaked and the other one well crimpled up i'm pretty sure yes lightning release kakashi was completely astonished and he would realize that naruto is uh, something different this is definitely minato's son but on steroids literally minato had Two, um, I'm pretty sure he had like two or three chakra natures. Let me just quickly check that. He had fire, wind, and lightning, but that was uh, like extremely rare. It's already very rare to have two chakra natures. Most most people, most ninjas have one, but Minuto having three is extremely rare. And then having five is completely different. Having five, you are on god tier already. Realistically, you you are. <laughs> considered a god i mean uh here is and i had five chakra natures considered the god of shinobi but this was something different naruto had five chakra natures at the age of what six six and a month like this is crazy kakashi was very impressed by naruto and he wanted to put all his uh well he wanted to first tell the hokage and guy and lee obviously they, these guys need to know first as a uh, guy and lee are very close to naruto just like he's getting closer to naruto but the hokage needs to know this the hokage needs to allow you know, kakashi to 
properly tr you know teach him kakashi was doing this like a side thing like <clears throat> A little hobby but now this is serious naruto can become something great and the hokage is ecstatic to see that kakashi is actually you know wanting to do something first of all and naruto naruto having fire function it's just this is crazy <laughs> this is this is this is mad of course he wants kakashi to train him kakashi is the best shinobi to train naruto other than himself as he knows every every Ninjutsu or every jutsu that's known to the hidden leaf you know, hidden leaf village other than obviously having the clan exclusive ones but Kakashi has a thousand jutsu's five chakra nature's the sharing gun like Kakashi is the best teacher for Naruto right now and Naruto and Kakashi would begin training they would begin training very hard Naruto wouldn't slack off on his uh, eight gates training as uh, a year would pass by Naruto would have the fourth gate Lee would have the fifth gate yes Lee's still ahead of Naruto by a whole gate but Lee having the fifth gate by now makes him the strongest person in the academy and he would be easily passed and uh, obviously he would uh, still have to like stay in the academy as uh, you know he's still learning the other stuff and uh, of course now Lee who would uh, mostly slow down a bit as a guy told him that when he becomes a genin then he's going to begin teaching him the 6th, 7th and even 8th gate. 8th gate, but right now what he can do is improve on the 5th gate as the 5th gate is a, a very, very hard gate to get over. It would take a normal person, unless you're exp ex especially, well, talented, at least 2, 3, 4 years maybe. And I'm not sure how long it took Guy, I'm not going to assume anything, but... Lee would take a while and uh, Lee still has uh, about three years he's in the second year of uh, the academy or well, first year of academy because uh, he filled his uh, first early year and uh, now he's with his real class in his first year and uh, he's still a year above Naruto as Naruto would be joining the academy next year when he's eight as he's seven now and Lee's eight and uh, they'll be one class apart and Naruto can't wait because he can spend more time with Lee, finally. Like, his, cut, his time has been cut short with Lee because of the academy and him having to train with ninjutsu. But now it's coming back. Naruto would have already learned the Shadow Clone Jutsu and even the Rasengan. As uh, Kakashi seemed fit to teach Naruto the Rasengan as uh, that was his father's Jutsu. Why wouldn't Naruto need to know that? Naruto, it's like something hereditary like this is something that naruto needs to know this is something he deserves to know something that would have been passed down to him by minato himself eventually so why not why the hell not it's just naruto would have it earlier and he has full gates already clearly making him very strong joni level they're right there literally anywho now naruto and kakashi would continue training with the Rasengan and even improve on it as Naruto would make a Reset F a uh, Windstar Rasengan as uh, he's very very his uh, best affinity right now is Wind Release and uh, something he hasn't told Kakashi is he's going to tell him soon when this spa next time Naruto has found out something very interesting about himself he was training one night with Lee as the two would actually spa and Lee would tell Naruto to go all out everything out no ninjutsu like all the ninjutsu he's been holding back throw it all at him as Lee would be on a different tier of strength for compared to Naruto in fourth gate as uh, Lee has the fifth gate Obviously Naruto would then say, alright then, let me use this new thing I found out the other day. I didn't want to tell anyone yet, but I guess you get to know first. As Naruto would then look at Lee and uh, next to Lee, big, uh, well, a, sp a sphere, not a sphere, not a sphere, sorry, a spear of ice would come off the ground and um, try to stab Lee. Lee would uh, literally break it with his... Uh, fist as uh, he uses in the eighth gate his fists are quite strong and Naruto and then would look at Naruto realizing what Naruto just used that was ice how he's confused as Naruto would laugh saying that the fight is not over as he would uh, well gesture with his hand uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, he would uh, he would swing his hat arm um, in front of himself as if he's trying to you know sway uh, or you know slap a bee away as naruto would then send a literal <laughs> path of ice from the ground literally appearing out of nowhere towards lee as then it would turn it into a bunch of long spikes as uh, 
or Lee would have to dodge. It's basically Naruto using Todoroki's ice abilities, literally, but without having to do anything. No hand signs, nothing. Naruto is a completely different being right now. He's achieved something no shinobi has ever done before. Uh, you being able to use ice release is from the Yuki clan, or you know, Yuki clan. Wait, let me just check. Yuki clan. I got confused with Kurena Yuki instead of, uh, you know, he's the actual Yuki clan with the ice release. But, anyways, now, obviously, Naruto would have, uh, <clears throat> well, been able to defeat Lee that night, as Naruto would be taking L's against Lee every single night until he would actually go all out. And Lee knew that Naruto was holding back a lot. Naruto wouldn't just use the ice release, he was, he'd, be, he'd be using fireball jutsus enhanced with the fifth gate or fourth gate, sorry, and then his speed would be much higher and naruto would be able to actually use ice on his own body as, as if he was aokiji or something to protect himself from kicks and punches that you know lee was uh, throwing at him naruto had basically a, a well absolute defense just like gar sand uh, well, sand defense but with ice for some reason naruto didn't understand how he unlocked it but he would you know show it off that night and obviously he would win the fight and uh, Obviously now Naruto would actually be training secretly to master that jutsu. But anyways, now Naruto being able to now back to Rasengan. Naruto being able to create a Windstar Rasengan would be something groundbreaking. However, instantly Kakashi would tell Naruto to never use that Rasengan again, as uh, his arm was full of full 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 of deep wounds, deep cutting cut wounds, and uh, Naruto's arm was bloodied. Literally, it was. Uh, it was uh, close to being or well, be basically yeah, taken off Naruto's arm would have just been gone suddenly if Naruto if Kakashi didn't stop Naruto and even Kakashi got a few cuts on his hand but those weren't as deep as Naruto's cuts on his uh, whole arm as uh, obviously Naruto would uh, be taken to the hospital and he would be healed uh, at three weeks later he would be back to normal but this was uh, this was dangerous and uh, Naruto should have healed within th three months not three weeks but there was a little secret that naruto didn't know himself naruto would naruto would have actually well his arm would have actually been burning well uh, in the during the second week of his uh, recovery and naruto would have you know for you know if he's burning ice is cold you know what i'm saying and he found out that his ice has a a weird affinity for healing obviously not instant healing but he sped up his healing drastically and clearly it worked and uh, the auto thought that maybe he could make the ceiling instantaneous eventually kakashi would call this a forbidden jutsu and he would he would uh, he wouldn't tell the hokage as this jutsu if used properly could become an s class jutsu but for now it's, it will remain as a kenjutsu now a year would pass and during this one last year and because kakashi would actually stop naruto's training or until he became a genin and uh, you know even if he's not his joining team leader which uh, not he winks at naruto with that one well winks he just closes his eye and naruto realizes that that's wink and uh, that's just because of how close he is to kakashi and that's how just how kakashi you know you know jokes around with him and anyways now obviously he tells him that you know this is the final training session and it will be sparring to see naruto's growth Obviously, Kakashi and Naruto would be well. Naruto would be smiling at Kakashi as uh, Kakashi would uh, be serious. He wouldn't have his uh, book out. He would actually pull down his mask. And Naruto knew about this, by the way. He would, you know, use his Sharingan. As uh, Naruto is uh, no longer that, you know, one naive kid who barely knew how to do one clone. Naruto and Kakashi have found out about the secret of the, of the Shadow Clone and Clone, and they've been abusing it. Kakashi has been training a lot with Naruto as well. While Naruto's training, Kakashi was training as well. Now the two would go into a well intense Taijutsu fight, as Naruto's Taijutsu was uh, close to well Kakashi's Taijutsu, and when he even turned the gates on, when he went into his fifth gate, yes, Naruto has the fifth gate right now, and although he's still behind the Lee. He's, he's catching up real quick as uh, although Lee is going ahead real quick as well Naruto is catching closer to Lee but right now he's the strongest one out of the two brothers as uh, Lee and him would basically be brothers at this point although Naruto would still have his orange jumpsuit whereas Lee would be more like you know uh, <clears throat> a mic guy and Lee finally passed the first year by the way <laughs> congrats Lee and then he is now 
Kakashi and uh, Naruto would uh, begin their Taijutsu fight, and uh, it would be very equal until Naruto turned his well, went into his f fifth gate, and eventually Kakashi was pushed back until Kakashi actually started getting serious with the Sharingan and actually tried to put Naruto in a Genjutsu. However, Naruto was actually trained in um, in case this would have happened by Kakashi himself, and Naruto would have broke out the Genjutsu. However, by the time he did. Kakashi was already behind him with a Rasengan. Yes, Kakashi would actually use Naruto's own move, well, Minato's move, Jiraiya's move, Naruto's move, but Naruto's uh, signature move basically on him, as he would actually smash it into Naruto's arm, the right arm, and Naruto would actually be quite injured from this. However, he wouldn't give up as he realized that this is a serious fight. Naruto realized that you know Kakashi wasn't holding anything back. Kakashi did not care if Naruto's only an eight-year-old right now, as. Uh, Naruto is uh, very strong. He's not eight-year-old level. He's uh, he's Jonin level. He's closing up to Kakashi's own level. But anyways, now as Kakashi would uh, you know use his <coughs> Raikiri and uh, his uh, Lightning Hound, literally Naruto would have had to dodge that Lightning Hound. As if he bit on him, it would have been game over. Naruto barely avoided that, but by the time he did, Kakashi was there with a Chidori or Lightning Blade and or Raikiri. I'm not <laughs> any of the names you want to use and. Uh, you know, he was closing into Naruto's chest, but Naruto would then smile and say, Finally, I get to use this. I've been hiding it for a year from you, Kakashi Sensei. As Naruto, between Naruto and Kakashi, would uh, spoon literally out of thin air a massive wall of ice which Kakashi could not penetrate even with his Raikiri he would uh, be able to put a massive dent into it but he would uh, he was not able to penetrate through it as then Naruto would uh, actually well click his fingers as the ice would just well break instantly now Naruto was uh, smugly looking at Kakashi giving him a smile as uh, then he would then clap his hands together and the uh, eyes from both sides of Kakashi, left and right, would come and slam into Kakashi. Kakashi, without using his uh, well, advanced substitution due to <laughs> literally I say advanced because that was quite quick, he would have been crushed. And uh, the, well, obviously as soon as the eyes would disappear, they would see the remains of uh, well, the log of wood that Kakashi had to use to substitute himself with and it would be in smithereens literally it would be crum crumbs at this point now Naruto would look at Kakashi and uh, Naruto and Kakashi were staring each other down as Kakashi would then say enough Naruto as uh, he would uh, turn his Mongekyo on and Naruto instantly lost the fight as uh, it would, he would uh, you know put his hands up and say all right I lost as Naruto has seen the ability of Kakashi and Mongekyo, yes, Naruto and Kakashi training this much together already saw Kakashi unlocking his Mongekyo Sharingan. Naruto would instantly put his hands up and say, You win. <laughs> this is your win. As Naruto really had no counter to the Mongekyo Sharingan, especially Kakashi's one, as Kakashi could literally whoop away his arm. And uh, that would have been fun. And you know Naruto found out the hard way as uh, one day as they were actually sparring before the one year uh, the, this lot final year when Naruto actually had ice release uh, the Kakashi actually accidentally used his ability or his Mongekyo ability on Naruto but Naruto was able to avoid it by seeing what happened to a poor little crow the crow well was uh, disappeared except for its leg literally its little leg was on the ground bloodied and Naruto realized that you know Kakashi's ability is completely different poor girl. but anyways it was a good showing of Kakashi's, Kakashi's powers but Kakashi was exhausted after using it but recently he's been getting much better more refined he refined it a lot more and he's around um, uh, a bit before pain level arc uh, of Kakashi or well but uh, pain well Konoha's attack uh, well pain's attack on Konoha Kakashi was able to use it uh, like once or twice I believe I think it was once to be honest but it was more proficient than the time he used against Deidara that's for sure now obviously Naruto and Kakashi would actually shake hands and even give each other a hug as they realized that you know these past well, two three years were amazing for both of them they both got to know each other and you know they've uh, trained a lot and Kakashi will always remember Naruto and he can't wait to teach Naruto in four years Naruto will keep up with his training and focus a lot more on his uh, gates training but Kakashi told him that Naruto is plenty strong he should strive to become stronger but at the same time he, sh he should strive to make lifelong friends in the academy 
and uh, that's more important for Naruto right now as strength wise Naruto is perfectly fine as long as he just retains his skill and just continues training here and there he should be fine for now and once he becomes a true Genin or a ninja then he can strive even higher as uh, <clears throat> right now Naruto has one friend that one friend being <laughs> you know Lee <laughs> literally just Lee anyways now Naruto will join the academy the next week and Lee would actually take Naruto with him as uh, Lee was already heading there and uh, he would say his goodbye to Naruto as he would go to his class and Naruto would go into the end uh, well um, entrance ceremony basically Naruto would be sitting next to a girl called Tsuki Tsuki Uchiha who was actually known as uh, being <laughs> well the prodigy of the Uchiha clan not even being uh, uh, well, for Goku's daughter, actually being Shisui's sister. Obviously, Naruto and Tsuki would look at each other. And Tsuki has seen Naruto train, yes, she has. She's been spying on them a bit. She got motivated by it as she was more interested in Naruto than Lee. Obviously, she saw Lee train a lot more than Naruto eventually because uh, Naruto was training with Kakashi somewhere else during the day. And before they used, Lee and Naruto used to train together, she would see them around the village at around 5 o'clock every day uh, running around. And anyways, now, as they were training. Tsuki would have been motivated and she's very strong. She's not stronger than Naruto, but she has her Tutomo Sharingan. She has the body flicker, which is actually close to being uh, on par with Shisui. And Shisui has personally trained her and she is very strong, having three chakra affinities, but she's not going to say anything yet. Now, she was ecstatic to be next to Naruto and she would actually start a conversation as Naruto would be very awkward. Is that, oh, um, hello, my, my name is Naruto. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. And obviously Tsuki would burst out laughing saying that, you know, they don't, he doesn't need to be so formal. She's trying to be his friend. As Naruto would uh, smile and, uh, you know, scratch the back of his head. Uh, a bit nervous, but, you know, giving out a small laugh. But afterwards, Hiruka would scream at them, telling them to, you know, shut up because now the ceremony already started and they were talking. The two got scared and, uh, you know, listened to the ceremony saying that uh, by the Hokage, obviously. The Hokage telling them that, you know, this is their first step to become great shinobis in the future and he hopes all of them will become great like the greatest versions of themselves as shinobi or anything else they want to do in life in case they want to switch from being shinobi or sort to something else the hokage is fine with it but for those who want to become shinobis then he gets all serious you guys need to understand that to be a shinobi you need release you need a strong will and you need to also understand that it's not an easy job being a shinobi you could lose your life at any moment thus this is a very important decision you're making for your bo for both you and your life but anyways you're just starting the academy Yuriko will be giving your speech next year or well, at the end of the academy anyways take care as as the hokage would literally poof away and Yuriko would be like ah really hokage as Naruto's year, literally, uh, Naruto's year, who, well, Iruka would be teaching, uh, obviously, would be full of prodigies. It would uh, be full of clan heads, Sasuke Uchiha, uh, Shino Aburame, Hinata Hyuga, uh, Shikamaru Nara, Choji Akimichi, uh, uh, the also soccer I don't know but she's just a civilian but there are Ino Yuk uh, Yamanaka Kiba there's just a lot of people now obviously a week would go on and Tsuki would then come in through the gates of the well and she would come into the academy all sad as she would find out she would have found out about her brother's death and her unlocking the Mongekyo thanks to well, Itachi telling her about it obviously Itachi would leave one of the eyes with uh, Tsuki and telling her that when she, whenever she you know needs it to use it but she would leave it as in a form of a crow as the crow would actually go into her just like uh, he did to naruto giving the crow gift by any means now she would uh, be fainted and the crow would come out when tsuki basically was going blind that's when the crow would come out that's so uh, how he programmed the crow to be now Naruto would console Tsuki and uh, Tsuki would basically cry to him basically saying that you know she has no one left uh, and Naruto says that you know it's fine she has him in it like he's been alone he, he he's always gonna be with her and anyways now Tsuki was very happy as uh, the Hokage would have actually separated both Tsuki and uh, Sasuke obviously they weren't really related 
the, the, uh, other than being Uchiha's. Tsugi would actually move in next to Naruto, as the Hokage found a nice little room next to Naruto, and it would be a, a bit more luxury, but anyways, now. Tsugi was ecstatic, as now they could all go to school together, and, you know, <clears throat> Lee, who would be admired by Hinata, as he was the one to actually, well, Lee was the actual, uh, actual one to save Hinata as Naruto was just there with Lee fighting along but Lee was the one who initiated the, the saving of Hinata. Obviously Hinata would always look up to Lee and she would be training a lot harder than usual as Lee is very strong and trains a lot. Anyways now this would push her to be a better Kunoichi and, and just be stronger as a whole throughout the story. Anywho now. The three would get very close to each other as um, they would basically grow up as siblings other than Naruto and Tsuki as you know Tsuki would uh, have a crush on Naruto and so would Naruto have one on her but they just were very awkward around each other although Lee tried to push Naruto a bit more as Lee would realize that anyways now Lee and well Hinata would actually start conversations with Lee here and there every time they see each other and uh, you know Lee was always Lee and you know, he's always going to be nice to everyone and anyways now Shikamaru and Choji would be Tsuki's and Naruto's friends as Tsuki wouldn't really have many friends just like Naruto she would be very distant like just like Naruto literally they would be very alike in that uh, well in those terms and uh, Shikamaru would actually point out and be like you know you guys uh, you need to be more outgoing you know that right as uh, Shikamaru obviously has other friends same as uh, Choji but that's because Choji is more outgoing Shikamaru is just lazy and people just like him now Naruto is not really hated although he's quite the knucklehead he's like the clown of the class and he just doesn't try in the academy he's he's always in you know at the bottom because he just doesn't care realistically Naruto can just be the best whenever he wants <laughs> really but now obviously team seven would uh, well a few four years would pass and everyone would pass the academy Mizuki would still try to steal the scroll on his own and Naruto would hear about it and in fact actually help out uh, well, Iruka, as uh, Naruto and Iruka were out for ramen on the same night, and uh, Naruto would help out Iruka with Tsuki as well, and Lee would join in as all of them were there celebrating with Naruto and obviously Naruto and Tsuki. As Tsuki, Naruto, and Iruka were very close, Iruka saw well basically himself in Naruto being the class cl class clown, and Tsuki was just there. Obviously, eventually they just got to know each other. Now, obviously, all four of them found Mizuki in the forest, and basically. As music tried to kill uh, Iruka as he thought he was the biggest target there, he did not realize who Naruto is. Naruto would have uh, clicked his fingers and uh, a wall of ice uh, would have engulfed the uh, shuriken that he Mizuki threw and the shuriken would be stuck mid-air as a, well, a pillar of ice would form from the ground, well, obviously at a slight angle, catching the shuriken, and the shuriken would be in it. Naruto would then click his fingers once more as the shuriken would fall and the ice would disappear. Naruto catch, caught it and uh, infusing his uh, lightning and wind release chakra into it, he would throw it at music at speeds that music could not even see, and uh, it would cut straight through Mizuki's cheek or well, not a really deep cut but just a little bit but the the lightning chakra would paralyze Mizuki and actually put him down and finish him off right there the kunai would fly up as Naruto would then look at it and basically freeze it uh, but just looking at it just the uh, well, shuriken itself the massive one obviously I'm not sure what it's called I think it's called the wind shuriken I'm not sure but anyways now obviously then Naruto would uh, just uh, destroy him there and it would just turn into well literal it's like a bit of glitter literally not glitter but you know sparkles there we go uh, as the ice just uh, you know got disintegrated by naruto tsuki knew about this lee knew about this iruka although he knew naruto was strong and uh, he knew he was hiding a lot but this was completely different he asked whether the hokage knew about this and naruto says yeah, kinda yeah now team seven would be announced the next day as uh, Naruto, Tsuki, Sasuke and Sakura would all be put in one team. Naruto would actually be put in that team not as a genin and uh, Iruka would announce it. Naruto would be an assistant Jonin team leader as, uh, as per special request from the third Hokage and uh, team leader Jon Jonin team leader Kakashi Hatake. As the three would well as the four would wait for hours on end and then Kashi arrives. Naruto sighs saying, you know, I always knew you were late, 
but you are more punctual than this when we used to train Kakashi Sensei. And Kakashi said, well, our appointments were at 6 a.m. And I did come around like, <laughs> you know, 12 p.m. And Naruto says, yes, I know that Kakashi Sensei. Anyways, how about we go to the rooftop, guys? And uh, Kakashi agrees and the old poof away. Other than, well, Sasuke and, Su uh, Sasuke and uh, Sakura who are left astonished. All of them body flickered, not poofed away, sorry, that's what I meant, leaving a, a swirl of uh, leaves in their places. The two would make their way up the stairs as uh, Sakura got to spend some time with her beloved by anyways now. Obviously, we would get to see, well, we would get to hear all of their dreams. Naruto, well, Sasuke and Sakura would go first. Sakura just looking at, uh, not Kakashi, at Sasuke the whole time, saying, oh, in the future I want to do, you know, looking at Kakashi, my goal is looking at, no, not Kakashi, sorry, Sasuke, that's crazy. And then, just everything about Sasuke, Tsuki would go next, or, sorry, Sasuke would go next, and Sasuke would basically have the same things as uh, Panomo just as uh, his goal is to you know revive his clan and kill a certain someone then it would go Tsuki. Tsuki would say that her dream well her likes are spending time with her loved ones training and uh, just having some quality time with them obviously talking about her friends and well the ones family she had it was only um Shisui as uh, their parents actually got killed as well but anyways well before Shisui's death now Obviously, she would say that her dislikes are basically people who hate on others for no reason and uh, she dislikes the cycle of hatred and she wants to stop that as well as her dream is to bring peace to the shinobi world and uh, start a peaceful family with a certain someone looking at Naruto. Obviously, uh, Sakura would be like, wait, what? You like Naruto? And Naruto would just blush saying that, you know, uh, he knew obviously as uh, the two were dating at this point. And anyways, now... Obviously Naruto would uh, basically have the same exact dreams as Tsuki, same exact likes, dislikes. However, Naruto's uh, had an extra dream of becoming Hokage basically as well and being the strongest Hokage ever. And anyways, now Team 7 would basically finish their well, meet and greet <laughs> and uh, Kakashi would tell them about the test tomorrow. However, Naruto would not be participating in it as it would be unfair and uh, uh, you know, it's a test for the genin not the jonin here obviously naruto would have already been considered a jonin in training in training it's a very special case that happens to a very few people and naruto is actually the first ever person to ever have it <laughs> literally naruto wouldn't get his training uh, well jonin vest yet as he would get once he would become officially a jonin by taking the test as well naruto would have to go to the test as well he wouldn't get a training vest either however he's a jonin in training as he he's a much higher than a jonin level he's at the peak of jonin as uh, uh, is kakashi and uh, lee is much stronger he's peak jonin too at this point i can't lie lee is very overpowered although lee will grow much slower now but he's the strongest in his, in his team and he puts uh, well, uh, neji in his place remember lee and hinata have a thing going and thus you know lee is the one to change uh, <clears throat> neji as lee has the same goals as naruto although he doesn't want to be hokage he just wants to be you know the one to continue the fire of youth and uh, you know pass it down to the next generation literally he just he's just my guy v2 and anyways now although he's quite serious in boruto if i'm being honest he, he seemed quite serious in the training exams now now team seven would meet up the next morning as uh naruto and, and tsuki would be late but they would bring, bring some breakfast to, to, for the other two as kakashi would arrive late and would see the other two eating and uh he knew that you know naruto was naruto and tsuki must have brought them something and he would just sigh saying naruto i'm the jonin team leader you are a jonin in uh, assistant jonin jonin in training so you don't get to call the shots here do you understand anyway Obviously Naruto uh, then says no fuck off literally and anyways now Anyway now team 7 was about to begin the belt test as they do begin the belt test Tsuki instantly realizes what this is about there's no way they can beat a Jomi especially Naruto as uh, Naruto is the one taking the, their test Kakashi was a bit too lazy today is that Naruto this is your first test test these lot 
Naruto knew what the battle, bell test was about. Kakashi has told him that this is what he does for new Genin in training, obviously, and uh, he wants to test them out and see how they, you know, fare against the Joni and if they have good teamwork and if they don't show any sort of teamwork or any anything at all. No, well, they're not passing the academy, obviously. Now, not the academy, but the, they're not becoming any. Anyways, Naruto would uh, be standing there in the middle of the field, waiting for anyone to attack them. Attack him. And then, all three of them jump out of nowhere. Suki doing a power ball jutsu from the front, and uh, Sasuke doing it from the uh, back. Obviously, Naruto realizing that, you know, he's in the middle of two fabrics however he will show them that you know there's no way they can defeat him like this unless they use a sharing gun and obviously he does realize that you know Sakura just disappeared as the two fab will hit Naruto straight on obviously everyone's confused on what happened and then they see that Naruto standing there in the middle of uh, the field once again Uns unscathed nothing happened to him the 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 grass below him hasn't been touched but the grass around him there's like a little circle around him and that that this grass a patch of grass that hasn't been touched and then there's uh, the grass around naruto that is burning obviously everyone was like mm, what the fuck just happened uh, what is that and uh, anyways a, a cold sweat well drip from uh, Tsuki's forehead as she activates her Sharingan uh, saying Naruto I know that I won't be able to defeat you in battle but I will take one of the bells at least obviously as she says that Sasuke activates his Sharingan as well and uh, just uh, Naruto uh, well just for your, your information Naruto was unscathed by these fireball jutsus uh, as a uh, by the way Tsuki's fireball jutsu was minimum Joni level by the way um, that that's how much strength there was in but Naruto's chakra well just his presence is so strong and uh, the chakra that is emanating em, emanate, that is resonating from him was enough to actually protect him and uh, no ice was used nothing was used it was just his chakra dissipating the other chakra Naruto literally nullified the fireball jutsu around him and he just stood there he didn't even use a jutsu a nullification jutsu at all he just stood there like a boss literally anyways Tsuki's movements were beyond Naruto's uh, speed at this point because of Tsuki's uh, advanced uh, oh, well speed as uh, she's faster than Naruto she's definitely faster than Naruto and probably even Kakashi as uh, she's basically the new Shisui uh, Tsuki Uchiha now with the Sharingan Naruto is uh, you know pushed back a bit and Kakashi is actually interested in this as he keep, uh, puts his book down and just watches the fight Naruto was able to keep up with Tsuki until Tsuki up the pace as uh, she used her full speed uh, for now obviously she's going to get faster but Naruto didn't give up as uh, of course Tsuki was getting hits in but these hits weren't too strong as Naruto was able to protect himself with ice then uh, Sasuke comes out of nowhere and uh, basically goes in for a few tajutsu blows and then naruto actually smiles and kakashi actually smiles under his mask realizing that you know sasuke really thinks that he can take naruto on with tajutsu sasuke really thinks that naruto and lee have been training for years on years in tajutsu naruto actually smirks as he utterly violates uh, <laughs> sasuke and uh, Basically, obviously, Tsuki and Sasuke actually fight together. As they're both Uchiha's, they're actually be, uh, able to foresee their next move and uh, basically be able to have good synergy. But it still wasn't enough for, for to beat Naruto as Naruto was getting hit by Tsuki and Sasuke. However, eventually Naruto pushes both of them back and says, maybe I've had my fun. Well, I've had enough fun, but the warm-up is over as uh, he takes off uh, his weights and uh, as he throws them on the ground his weights actually just start pushing down on the ground and uh, they actually start cr cracking the ground itself as naruto cracks his neck uh just like you know <laughs> he seems like goku at the world tournament and uh, anyways now obviously naruto then uh, looks at the two smiling saying tsuki you may be fast 
But remember, I've trained with you, and my body flicker is just as fast as you with the weights. As Naruto would appear behind them, leaving a trace of uh, wind and chakra, literally. Naruto actually used the wind release to enhance his uh, body flicker as well. And uh, obviously, the two trios look behind them, and then a flurry of, well, Tajutsu hits hit them as Naruto was basically Goku at that point for them. Naruto did it so fast that they weren't even able to see him, you know, lift a finger against them. And they were, they just kept getting hit by literally air pressure blows, literally. And the, Naruto just had his arm out as if he was an MUI Goku or UI Goku at that point. And uh, obviously, uh, Kakashi was very impressed by Naruto's speed as uh, this speed could definitely put. Kakashi at risk of losing. Obviously, Tsuki could also, but realistically, Kakashi is much stronger than Tsuki. Although Tsuki is much faster, Kakashi can keep up with the Sharingan. And Naruto does not have the Sharingan. That's the one other downside of Naruto. Obviously, maybe I could give him a Sharingan, but this is not Naruto. Well, if Naruto had a Sharingan, anywho. Now, obviously, Tsuki would then say, maybe I have to use it as she activates a Mongekyo Sharingan and Naruto realizes that, you know, this is going to be much harder than he thought as she would take on Naruto. She wouldn't use any of her abilities, but just the enhancement of her Mongekyo being activated would be enough for her to basically take Naruto on and then Naruto and uh, well, Tsuki would actually come down to a stalemate. However, uh, Naruto let, you know... <clears throat> Uh, his uh, mind slip and uh, Sakura would come out of nowhere literally very, being very stealthy in this way if yes she actually trained a little bit because she was kind of jealous that you know uh, you know Tsuki was so strong and she did kind of train she was jealous of Tsuki yes out of all people although she was a fan girl she did train in stealthiness that's it because she was actually spying on Sasuke anyways now she was able to take the two bells uh, and share it with her two teammates as they were the true bait as Sasuke was exhausted on the ground panting breathing heavily and uh, Tsuki turned off her Mongekyo uh, and Sasuke didn't even notice she had the Mongekyo or she activated her at all he just thought that she was just having more power and this kind of made Sasuke jealous not only Naruto but especially Naruto because he's already well, a Jonin for some reason then look at him he's just again he, like, Naruto seems like he's older brother at this point but anyways now just like Itachi was like he was an Anbidida at what age 9? 11 sorry 11 uh, he did become an army captain at the age of 13 but anyways now obviously now we get to see basically how team 7 passed and Kakashi was very impressed by their teamwork actually praising them by clapping and saying that even Naruto who is a not a seasoned Joni he's just a starting out but even he had to uh, although he's not a seasoned Joni he's still a, a Joni <laughs> and uh, he was caught off guard by the three Genin. Obviously, it shows that Naruto still has room to improve, and that's why he's actually put in as a trainee Jonin. As he's going to attend all their mission and actually do the missions with them. Naruto would actually be helping out in every mission for the next month, and basically just gain experience like that. And Naruto eventually would, you know, say that the team is more than capable enough to do a secret mission, and Kakashi would agree because he knows that you know Tsuki has the manga kill as. A, uh, there are a few people that Tsuki and Naruto, Lee, uh, well, no, that Tsuki and Naruto trust. Lee, Kakashi, the third Hokage, and the uh, Mike guy. These uh, four people are the only ones who know basically every secret about all of them, no, about the two, and they know everything. And, anyways, even uh, Tsuki doesn't know that she has uh, Itachi's Mangekyo inside herself, uh, you know, inside a crow that is inside herself. But, anyways, now. Obviously, the crow has a message on its color, and anyways, now that will explain everything to Tsuki. No, on her color, but on the color of the of a crow, but you know, on the leg of the crow. But anyways, now, obviously, we get to see Team Seven do missions for one more month, and now they get the well, land the waves mission, and that is where I'm gonna end off. Hope you enjoyed the please stick it safe. This was the King Weaves. Yeah, this was uh, what if Naruto had well, what if Naruto unlocked the eight gates part one and i'll see you next week well, next week i mean next next wave and uh, i will put a like going in uh, on this uh, video uh if you guys want part two uh i'd say 100 likes and uh, i'll make a part two when he hits 100 likes yeah um i'll put a reminder at the, at the start as well and anyways mother please peace